I'm Staff Sergeant Seth Redeker, and this is your Gunfighter News for Friday, September 21st, 2012. Last week, Mountain Home Air Force Base took part in an operational readiness exercise. Airman First Class Jay Legate was in the field and brought us this story. Well, we have to be deployment ready. I mean, um, most of the time, you can say that we're, we're going to do this most of the time, but there is going to be a point in time where it's going to happen, it's going to be real world, and you have to have at least a, a basic idea of how it's supposed to work. You can't be in a real world situation and have no clue. We have a lot of new uh, airmen that have never done this before, so it, it will be beneficial for, for them in the, in the long run. If you're documenting on paperwork, that chief complaint needs to go on that paperwork, so make sure you're putting that chief complaint on there. Yeah, it's always beneficial for us um, to keep us up training wise, keep us ready. I guess some things, um, it kind of tedious, but you know, like in the big scope of things, that is for a reason, and you gotta play, play like it's real and take care of patients, and so you'll be able to take care of patients in real life. Same training keeps you better. October is Energy Awareness Month. The 366 Civil Engineer Squadron and the Commander bring you this message on energy awareness. Did you know that commercial and industrial buildings account for nearly half of our nation's energy use? Lighting alone accounts for more than 35% of that electricity. In fact, the energy used to support one office worker for a day contributes more than double the greenhouse gas emissions of that worker's daily commute. These are just a few facts to keep in mind as we look ahead to October, which is Energy Awareness Month. This month-long observance reminds us to take action year-round in our everyday lives and strive for a secure and efficient energy future to ensure mission readiness. Here are some small steps you can take to make a big impact in contributing to these goals. Set your thermostat to 68 degrees in the winter and 76 degrees in summer. Replace incandescent bulbs with CFL bulbs, which use 75% less energy but last up to 10 times longer. Set the power management controls on your computer to automatically enter a power saving mode when not in use. And don't forget to turn off monitors as you leave work for the day. Energy security is everyone's responsibility. As we enter the holiday season, please be safe, give thanks, and remember, saving energy matters. And now for some Mountain Home moments. Volunteers from Mountain Home Air Force Base Local civilians and veterans participated in the 25th Annual Veterans Olympics, September 15th in Boise, Idaho. The Games were a way for the military and civilian communities to recognize local veterans while showing appreciation for the sacrifices they make. Members of the 366 Fighter Wing and the surrounding community participate in the 52nd Annual Air Force Appreciation Day, September 8, 2012, in Mountain Home, Idaho. The parade is to honor the men and women of the United States military. Explosive Ordnance Disposal personnel from the 366 Civil Engineer Squadron clean up gunpowder from a ruptured 30 millimeter shell September 19th at Gowan Field in Boise, Idaho. That's it for this edition of the Gunfighter News. Reporting from Mountain Home Air Force Base, I'm Staff Sergeant Seth Redeker.